हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक अगेन दिस इज दर रेसिपी आई एम गोइंग टू मेक इन दिस व्लॉग एंड इट्स दही भल्ला इट्स अ इजी रेसिपी फॉलो मी फॉर मोर इजी रेसिपीज एंड आई टूक हाफ के जी ऑफ माश दाल I washed it two to three times and soaked it in water for two hours. Now I am going to make a, a paste of it by using grinder, and I should we should add one to two spoon of water as the batter should be thick. Transfer this mash dal in a jar for grinding. I have grinded it. You can see the paste should be like this much thick. Now I transfer this to a bowl. Transfer this batter to a bowl. Now I am going to add cumin seeds one spoon and salt one spoon. If you need, you can add cumin seeds and it gives a nice aroma to the uh, this mash dal batter. Mix it well in only one direction because the batter should get fluffy. Mix it well till five to ten minutes by adding little bit of water. The uh, don't come back again like this. You should you have to make it in one direction, as it the batter should be filled with air and get fluffy. We have mixed it well, and the batter has become like this fluffy. Now till then, I'll keep this side and I'll make. I will prepare this curd batter. I am going to add one spoon of salt and mix it with a whisker for five minutes till it becomes soft. As I am preparing this curd batter, till then I'll take a pan and keep it on high flame for frying the vadas. A small pan and I have added one cup of oil. As the oil get heated. I'll make that mash batter balls and add to it. And curd is also ready. Now I'll start frying. Oil is oil got heated. Now I'll start frying the vadas. Make vadas with your hand or with small spoon like this. I took spoon. Now I am going to add this to the oil. Small small like this. Okay. One by one. We'll fry this for two to three minutes till it get little brown and fluffy. The varas are turning little brown and fluffy. Not prepare the mash batter well, mash dal batter well. Then yeah, when it will be loose, when you prepare loose, so the when you start frying. it will become it will absorb more and more oil so the batter should be thick once again i am saying the batter should be thick you can see how the color changes this much we have to fry remove the excess oil from it then i'll transfer this to a bowl you can see i have fried all the uh, mash dal batter vadas Now I am going to add two glasses of water to become soft. Add water as needed and see how much soft the vada has become. You can see. Keep this vada for two minutes in water till it gets soft. See, you can see how it's turning. Press it nicely in water. Then remove water from it. Then I am going to add curd. Remove 
removed all the water from it now i am going to add curd on it like this till all the varas get dipped in it Nicely the vanilla should be mixed in the curd. Now I am going to garnish it with the himbala masala. I have made it with chaat masala, paprika, dhania powder, cumin powder and dried red chilli in it. Garnish like this this powder i'll write in description box what i took for making this masala powder now i am going to garnish it with coriander and pomegranate pomegranate and coriander like this you can add red chilli chutney and green chilli chutney for taste too but i am adding this powder and coriander leaves and pomegranate and the dahi bala is ready to serve